What up, pimps? We're going to do a snack review. That's right. And we got this. Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. So you can see here, price is coming in at $5.29. So it's kind of expensive. This is for the bougie people. But I got them on sale because I'm broke. Now, if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know I don't know what the fuck a Cape Cod is. I think it's like a town. But I guess the town is getting into the chip business. I'm assuming these are from the state. Now, if I had to guess where Cape Cod is based on this packaging, um, I'd probably say like Massachusetts or some kind of northeastern part of the U.S. That would have to be my guess. Now, we're about to get into these. Now, you know, I don't like uh, when people aren't specific on what they're looking for. So here's what I'm looking for in one of these kinds of snacks, okay? I'm looking for the look. So the packaging, the branding, all this goes into the experience. I'm looking for the texture, right? This is supposed to be a kettle chip, so I'm looking for something that's got some real bite to it. And I'm looking for the taste, obviously, right? And the smell as well. I think those are the main categories that we're going to be basing this off of. So let's, uh, of course, you know, let's break down some nutrition facts for you, as you can see here. Coming in at like 140 calories, that's fucking brutal. Seven per container. This is probably all going to be gone in a day. Uh, it, the packaging, you know, it's... I like the color scheme, right? I like this blue text. I think that looks cool. The fucking watch t light house, whatever. I don't know. Cape Cod shit. It's pretty neat. The green. It's a pretty green. Nothing that's really blown my socks off. Uh, and we look on the back. We got a little paragraph. Um... Just normal fare these days. Uh, let's go ahead and um, take a look at the paragraph here. One of the all-time great flavor pairings, sour cream and onion, has stood the test of time. So when it comes time to create a spin on, on a classic, we ask ourselves, how can we deliver the perfect combination of the creamy, tangy notes of sour cream and savory hint of onion on a robust kettle-cooked potato chips? The result is a satisfying balance of smooth, creamy, and bright on a hearty chip with that famous Cape Cod crunch. Actually, if you look here, I was right. It is in Massachusetts because they got a fucking map on it. Look at that. They got a map. That's crazy. That's a cool touch. I like the map. Let's go ahead and open this motherfucker up real quick. Let's open this slut up. Okay, let's get an initial scent. I'm getting heavy, heavy kettle chip. Not so much sour cream and onion. I'm getting, it smells like a kettle chip, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and get one out. i got like, yeah, get a good one here. Okay. So you can see, flaky. It's not looking that thick, but it's flaky. You can see the little specks on it. Overall, it's a good looking chip. It looks nice. It's going to smell. Still, only getting the kettle, not the sour cream. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a try one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Okay, I'm getting the sour cream. I could taste that for sure. The onion, nah, not as much. I, I, I'm personally, I enjoy a nice onion, uh, a nice onion taste, and I wish it was a little bit more potent here. But it's not like as thick as a normal kettle cook chip. The crunch is there. The crunch is nice, but it's not like, you, you know what I mean? Like you get like a bag of Lay's, right? It's like a thin, airy chip. You get a bag of kettle thing. It's like thick. Right, you gotta chew it a little bit more than you're used to. These are kind of in the middle. I don't know if I like that. I feel like if you're a kettle chip, you should just go all in. But overall, it's not it's not bad. I mean, I don't hate it. Let's try another just to just to be sure. Got a little double cross here. Yeah, same thing. Just the the the, the sour cream, not enough onion. Okay, so overall, um, the packaging is cool. The map adds a lot. That really like bumps it up for me. So the packaging is pretty all right. It's got the map, which bumps it up. Um, the texture, it's not ideal. It's not bad. It's not like it's 
not how it's supposed to be. It's crunchy enough, but it's not as crunchy as I would like it to be. Uh, so it would take a hit there. Uh, the taste, the sour cream's there. The onion's not really there, and that's a problem. So overall, I'd have to give the Cape Cod sour cream and onion chips probably a, probably a 5 out of 10. It's just an average chip. Uh, maybe a 6, just because I like the packaging with the map. Um, for the price, probably not too good for the price. Um, but yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a good, this is okay. This is okay. It's fine, I guess. <laughs>